put my post on the door? Yeah, you're good. All right, well, thanks. Uh, yeah, my name's Drake Gooch. Um, I'm an illustrator. Uh, I can show you, like, so since, like, last year, I've just been doing a bunch of, uh, we call them, like, bad guy studies, but they're just, like, screen grabs from, like, action movies I really like. One of my favorite movies of all time is John Woo's Hard Boiled, and, uh, like, it's, I don't know, it's one of my favorite movies. It's, uh, but, like, this is, like, it's, like, Chai Young Fat, um, and this is, like, another screen grab from it, from the ending of the movie. It's, like, a dead guy right here. But, um, I don't know, like, they're fun. Like, I really like doing, like, figure drawing and, and gesture drawing, and for me, this is, like, like, I have, uh, this project. I'll show you. Um, let's see right here. That's right here. Let me see. But, like, a lot of these paintings are, come from, like, studies of, like, stills from films. And to me, there's, like, I don't know, there's something, like, fun about uh, these, like, these these dead guys, like, falling and getting shot. Um, it's, like, makes me, like, like something, like, I'm kind of calling to is um, Robert Longo's Men in the Cities, which if you've seen American Psycho, um, he's got this big ass painting behind him of a guy and he's like, he's like, um, like falling over. I have a book actually. Um, like this is one of them, but you've probably seen this. Like this is an American, like there's something, there's one of the uh, pieces from the series is an American Psycho. But um, that's just kind of like, I kind of like referencing that building off of it. Um, I have, uh, I don't remember, but like, I don't remember what his name. I can post it in the link or something. Uh, this is like a like a test copy, so it's not it's not bound. But um, like like you see, like this was like a drawing, and then a lot of these like became paintings. Um, but I also referencing this uh, this zine I found online of this guy who like took pictures of. Um, these Japanese businessmen that would get drunk and just like pass out in the street. And to me it's like kind of cool like adding it to the same canon as what Robert, Robert Longo did. Um, but yeah, if you, uh, I just found this out, but he actually is a guy that directed Johnny Mnemonic, which is like a cyberpunk classic. Um, but uh, yeah, so like that's, that's kind of like what I've been up to. Like a lot of this too is just like, um, like, I'm still in school, so I'm trying to, like, get my chops up, and this has just been a way for me to, like, just kind of do, like, my thing. Uh, especially as I'm working more and more digitally, it's fun to keep, like, this traditional aspect of my work sacred and not have to, like, have it involved with school. So, like, the, the program I'm in is, like, super digital focused, but, like, I don't really post that stuff on my Instagram. Um, I really like I'm working hard to get wrapped by an agent and um, they say like make the work that you that you want to get hired for and um, so like for like to get wrapped by an agent like I, I really want to get like kind of known for my traditional work and that's what I like to be recognized for so I'm just going super super hard on that but like simultaneously I am learning 3D but you don't see it because I'm because I'm not good at it. So uh, I'm not saying like I'm good at this stuff, but I am more confident within this. So it's kind of like leading me right now. But um, but it's nice to have something separated where like like the like I'm learning like um, for example like Cinema 40, like Redshift. Um, I'm learning like ZBrush and stuff like that. But um, like you will see like like hopefully I'll get to the point though where I can just like create something 3D and then. I then draw it uh, and use it as a reference because like I don't know there's something about like taking your own picture or um, like like sculpting something that you can reference to and um, and that's another thing too is like I can talk about like my like a lot of like my favorite artists um, like a like a big part of their work is like is how they reference and if you like want to understand someone you you like you like pay attention to like not just the work they steal from and re and reference like like canonically like who they enjoy but also like where they like like reference like actually like for their pieces um, like like Richard Corbin 
if you haven't heard of him, like he's like I love like heavy metal magazine from like like the eighties and nineties. All those illustrators, like they're my favorite. They're the goats. And Richard Corbin is a guy who I can show you. When you see Richard Corbin's stuff, he um. It is a hardcover. Oh, here it is. But, like, Richard Corbin was a geezer. Like, he was, like, an old guy making art. But he was, like, learning 3D. Like, he would use, like, 3D. Like, he would make maquettes, like, hand models of his of his figures. But then, um, uh, he was such a good illustrator that you'd have, like, you'd have, like, a photographic reference. Or, I don't know, I'll try to, like, like there's probably some like photographic element to all of these but then he also is like using imag his imagination to to bring in other details and there's like a hierarchy of what's real life what's what's um like like what's what's photographed what's modeled and what is just from his head and um i just love that so i kind of think like for myself like how do i want to um make mine make my reference and I'll, like, I don't want to say too like um oh, this is awesome it's just messed up <laughs> Man, he's just this like naked guy this naked bald dude like everyone he does is is bald and I'm like I'm talking about like I'm talking about drawing i'm talking about illustration like i don't know if that really like goes over for other mediums i i think it does like for like film or whatever but another guy like you know like Fr frank frazetta but his like if like recently online his his reference images i've like i've like seen them around they got more popular but like he lied he like he said he never used reference images there's interviews where he's like oh i did it all from my head and he's lying and i think that's cool though like it's like part of his uh like the mystique of the artist which i don't really think you get to see too many like that you don't really see that too often i think reference is super important and if you don't use it in your work as an especially as an illustrator then like you're you're i don't like it. it's gonna be like soulless and really crappy and um a guy like i really like look up to an artist uh cf Payne. And he's like, I'm only as good as my reference. So I think it's, I think like what you're referencing is, is super important, and it's like, I don't know, it's crucial. Like I, and I, I don't know, I've just been thinking about that like for the past, like just going through school and like what, um, like what I'm taking in, um, and and how that's reflecting. So I think like reference is not just what you're, like taking a picture of, but also like who you're, um, like who you're art parents are like who like you're ripping off who you like are aspiring to like you know we all like artists like you want to you want to like wear their skin you want to become them <laughs> and i think like you grow with with that like those tastes change but you have to like be mindful of it because i think if you're not then you're just gonna have super crappy references anyways like stuff you watch on tv marvel Disney stuff like that. So <laughs> Simon Bisley, he's so freaking sick. But I really, I really respect the school of, of British illustrators. Um, that sounds so stupid. You know, like I really, I really like, uh, like all of these guys that were like Bisley adjacent in the '90s are like acrylic painters and they're like workhorses. And I feel like by looking at their stuff, I feel like I've gotten. Um, I feel like I've gone a little bit better, but honestly, like, I'll never get, these guys are, like, god tier. But, um, yeah, check them out. Simon Bisley's son, Jake Bisley, actually does, like, animation for, like, tons of cool fashion brands. He does, and he does stuff for, like, Brain Dead, for, uh, what's that skate company? Dime. Uh, stuff like that. It's pretty sick. I want to recommend John Chandler. Uh, he's Newman Cruz on Instagram. But yeah, he's British. He's crazy. I guess I can show off this like, like Jorge Zafino is like a huge inspo for me. 
But um, it's crazy to look at this and see like this is from the 80s. But uh, yeah, he just goes so hard. He uses a, a, an ink pen, and um, I've really gotten to like that. And I see, and I see his, I see his stuff. I just want to get better at it. But um, show you like my favorite panel from this. This right here. He's like, he's going to tear my head off unless I can break his neck first. I break his neck first, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome dude um but yeah um there's a lot of like it's like inspo like stuff I really like so yeah so if um yeah if you wanna like buy my work uh I have uh jcooge big cartel you can follow me on instagram jcooge underscore um yeah I mean <laughs> go to church <laughs>